Vibes Cartel and his co accused and his legal team are not pleased with the justice system at the moment. Nah, it me come for talk about. But if you're a new viewer here, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hit that notification bell to be notified on future posts. Now, people, Vibes Cartel, I reach out to him, lie, and basically I tell him, lie, I say, listen me. The word of them not treat me good, me not get no good treatment right about now. But on a different level still, you know, when they are prison still, you're not supposed to get no good treatment. You're not supposed to feel comfortable. You're supposed to feel uncomfortable. That's what the legal system is trying to do to Vibes Cartel. Make him uncomfortable. So he reached out to his lawyer. His lawyer gave an article. But before me even read the article and say what the article said, I'm going to explain out a few things where Vibes Cartel basically I tell him liar and I show him my vibes. You see me? So basically, Vibes Cartel is saying that boy, after the whole appeal thing in April, because you know that he had an appeal, but he lost the appeal. So basically, he's saying that in April, since April, then might I say, he has been receiving less visits. Now, everybody knows that when Vibes Cartel are getting visit, them are some big high profile visit like Spice, Ayaktian, Sean Kingston, and a host of other artists. I don't know, it's a big top. DJ this. So when them are gonna link him as some big top high profile people are gonna link him. But it's like the GSA boy from the whole appeal thing and him lose the appeal. It's like them not give him back them visit there again. Not saying that the people are not visiting him. What he's saying is that the legal system is cutting his visits. So basically the people and the prisoners say boy one man can't get more than five visits for the month. You understand? And by right he's serving a life sentence. Basically, he's there, he's not going anywhere, he can't leave. So I think it is right to get his visit. But in the eyes of the legal system, mm -mm, Vibes Cartel, no forget no visit. So I don't know, I sat Buchanan, which is his lawyer, so I said, I'm going to prepare up some whole heap of documents now, I'm Bert Samuels, to leave for the UK. Now, they wanted to post bail for Vibes Cartel, but you don't know the justice system will fight that, which is the DPP. You don't know them not deal with that. Because basically they are saying that why should a man who is serving a life sentence receive so much visits for one month? You know what I mean? Because the typical visit a man can get for the, for the month are probably three visits. A regular inmate can probably get three visits. That's, what, that's my opinion. That's what I'm saying. Because I don't really know about the whole prison thing. So, I mean, just I said that off at the top of my brain. So, boy, probably at three visits or so or less them get each month. Uh, so, you know what I mean? But because Vibes Cartel are raking in a lot of artists, you know what I mean? High profile celebrities, they must say, Listen, my brother, this is prison, this is not Hollywood, and this is not the Gaza. This is Spanish Town District Prison. So, get it in your brain. So, basically, the lawyer, you know what I mean? Gave out a statement, an article, a statement, still an article, statement, article, whatever. But he gave out a statement basically stating that his client, Adija Palmer, Matter of fact, I'm going to read it to you. The article goes to say that my client Adija Palmer is serving a life sentence of 35 years at the St. Catherine District Prison. And over a period of time, my client has not been receiving his normal visits. In this case, the justice system is depriving my client of his visiting rights and must be reminded that even though he lost his appeal in Jamaica, we are preparing our documents to leave for the UK soon. My client is being treated unfairly and should not be subjected to disrespect from the justice system. So, you know, hear that people is an article that from Isaac Buchanan, which is the lawyer representing Adija Palmer, aka Vibes Carter. So, the man basically I tell them, say, listen to me. My client, he's serving a life sentence of 35 years, you see me I say, and the justice system are depriving him of his visiting rights, which is them are all about certain things. Which is them a bant and certain things from him. He can't get no visits. He can't get nothing for like keeping mind seeing. What means keeping mind seeing? Like, I don't know. When I'm gonna get him visits, when I'm gonna get him food, when I'm gonna get him money, you see me, I say money pan him books. All is well. But when a man can't receive them thing there, he might got uncomfortable. And that is the reason why Vibes Cartel reach out to his lawyer. Now, people, let me tell you this. They might do everything for make Vibes Cartel uncomfortable in a prison. You know what I mean? Because guess what, man? It's true. Vibes Cartel is locked behind bars, and Vibes Cartel is creating so much havoc in the in the in the industry. When me say havoc, me not mean bad havoc, even though havoc is not a good word. But the havoc where my reek, it's musical havoc. The man a tear down the place, and them a wonder then how come this brother ya keep on a do this stuff and keep on a keep himself relevant, and he's behind the bars. Well, a Vibes Cartel that unpredictable. 
contrary at times, but intelligent and smart. I don't have to give Vibes Cartel that even though he's in a spot at the moment where he can't move, he can't be mobile as he would like to be, I have to give him the props and listen to me. He must keep himself in the mix. He's keeping himself relevant and I love that and I respect that about Vibes Cartel. And I don't have, have to give him that. I don't have to give him that. But right about now, the liar basically has to listen to me. Not because I serve a life sentence and him lose the appeal and I got to treat him like set him less than. Because we are preparing documents to leave for the UK soon. If you got pressure that case over the Privy Council, so you don't know. But you don't know, we wish them luck on that. So I say, hopefully, him win. We we'll keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully, them can say, boy, them are going to pardon Vibes Cartel. And if that should happen, Isaac Buchanan will become one of the most popular, popular liars in the history of Jamaica. You know why am I going to be the most popular liar in the history of Jamaica? Him free Vibes Cartel. And in that case, if he should win the Privy Council case, uh, and, and Vibes Cartel is free, a uh, whole heap of people are going to want to hire Isaac Buchanan. You see me? I say, but separate and apart from that still, the justice system don't need to treat Vibes Cartel with a bit of decency, man. Oh my God, man. Not because he's classified as a murderer. Not because he's classified as an inmate or a criminal. You are going to treat him unfairly. He's already in the state's hand, which is in prison. And I like him wanted. I don't know look for him. He's there in prison serving his time. So if him forget him visit them, you know, don't start the man visit because the visits are what keep them alive. You know what I mean? The visits are what keep them sane. And with a man like Vibes Cartel, him need to see people from the outside world. When me, well, all right, when them say them are lessen the visits from Vibes Cartel, I don't think that them are say them no want nobody visit him, you know. But probably yesterday, the top entertainer them would have come give me a link. Them, them I said, mm-mm, we don't have to cut off that. Probably, probably his girlfriend, his mother, his aunt, you know, close relatives. But nobody of high profile can go through the gates to visit Vibes Cartel. And it's affecting him. You see what I say? And that's why I'm reaching out to the liar. The liar gave out that statement. You see what I say? What a good thing me catch the piece of statement the early for me to know what I go on, people. But... Vibes Cartel is not in a happy mood right now. You see me I say, you don't know next year, which is in a few hours. You see me I say, January is going to begin. And January is Vibes Cartel month, the 7th of January. So you know, say, in birthday I come up and the G1 feel a bit more calm and released in itself. But he's a bit uptight now because you know him have the Privy Council case for him head. The justice system out there fight him. And a whole heap of things. We just hope that everything works in Vibes Cartel favor and the Gaza Nation favor. You see what I mean? Because matters not what people are going to cuss and say, boy, Clive has summed it too. Vibes Cartel has summed it too. You understand? And you have to understand say, in the whole situation, a human beings we are dealing with. Sean Stam, Cairo, Andre St. Just, Andre St. John, um, Vibes Cartel, they are all human beings. And like a dog or a robot we are dealing with. A people. But it's it's unfortunate that things happen that way and Vibes Cartel is in the predicament he's in and Sean Storm and the whole of them and thing. But people, what are your guys' feedback about this? Do you guys think that the justice system is sabotaging Vibes Cartel and his co-accused of their rights in prison? Leave it down below in the comment section and let me know what you guys think. I swear, I really want to hear full no feedback. As a matter of fact, I want to hear the mostly the guys alo. The comment section is for anybody, but the guys and the nation, they want to run out in the comment section for that one. I want to hear how you feel about it because I feel no boss. So I say, you don't know. When it comes to Vibes Cartel, you take things. See, and I want to tell you, Vibes Cartel have one of the most loyal fan base I've ever seen in my life. Like, I never see a set of people so loyal to Vibes Cartel like guys and nation. Like, you can't say nothing bad about Vibes Cartel. And I want to tell you, say, the person who gave me this information is actually a Gaza Nation fan. You know what I mean? So, I respect the person there for send this information to me for me put it out to the rest of the world and thing. You see what I mean? I say, boy, I just hope say, everything work out in a Vibes Cartel favor. I hope say, Isaac Buchanan can, can, you know what I mean, seal this thing and make this thing just lift and just make the whole thing just. And if Vibes Cartel should work, I will if people are going to you know. Holy pa people are going to vex because they have them family are prison too where I serve a long sentence, you know. So if cartel for work, they must say, who then how him work? But you have to understand, say, you don't know evidence, 
is a huge thing and a lot of evidence were tampered with in the Vibes Cartel trial. So you don't know Vibes Cartel can get a pass pan that. You see me? But people are yes, I'm gonna end the update. So until the next time on the next topic, I'm out.